Hello, I am Kat Woods, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review Thomas Nelson Bibles. As you can see here, I have a few of my favorite chunky monkeys. If you have been a subscriber on my videos for some time, you will know I love the mini Bibles, preferably the little chunky monkeys. So today I'm going to review these two and then do a comparison between the premium, which is the higher end, and then the lower not necessarily like the lower, but the more reasonable priced Bibles. All right, so take you off the tripod. I want to get you in nice and close. I was trying to figure out a way to do that to where I could just keep you on the tripod and not have to shake you around. But I couldn't figure out a way to keep the tripod steady and close. But anyways, so right here, as you can tell, I have two of the Thomas Nelsons. These are both, um, they're two double column. I'll go ahead and just jump on in. You know, we'll just go ahead and show you. So this right here is my smallest one. This is the tiniest one and the cutest one. Here is the ISBN number. This was gifted to me from my sweet subscriber, Melissa. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. So... Here is this beautiful, cute little Bible. She knows I am a fan of this purple. The purple is my favorite. Oh, so, so cute. And it's perfect. You can literally stick it in your purse, put it in your book bag. It's the perfect on-the-go Bible with this beautiful flooring. Look at that. White stitching just makes it pop. We have this silver gilding. Thomas Nelson's quality. And this was only, what? A $20 Bible and you can even get it cheaper yeah and this quality is outstanding for the price all right so we open it up it is a paste down liner we have this beautiful design presentation page it is my sewn you do get two ribbon markers that have the purple and gray combination coloring we have purple matching head and tail bands so this, there's the tail, and here is the head. All right. We got the title page. Now I don't have any dimensions like on what sizes these Bibles are, but that's why I have different size Bibles. So you can pretty much tell just from looking at them, the size of the Bible. So we have the copyright page, the table of content, the preface to the Bible. All right, so like I said, this was a two column format. For being a small Bible, this is very, very, very readable. It is in the comfort print. You have your footnotes and references down below. And we all know that I love to journal in like a regular Bible. So you still have some margin space over here on the side. Even though it's a Bible that's like the size of your hand. Like look how tiny this Bible is. But you still got some room. And then in the gutter, look at this. That is beautiful. You can't take like deep, you know, theological notes. Or even a good note. It's not like a note-taking Bible. But there is space here that you can doodle a quick reference. All right, let's get further. Oh, and then look at this. You get this big old space. So I bet they start each book of the Bible on a new page. Just from the look of that one. Of course, I'm going to have this one page that's going to stick on me. Oh, yeah. So every book of the Bible will start on its own page. Super cool. Okay. And I love sharing the songs.
So the Psalms, you would definitely get more space because it is the poetry. It's very, very readable, you guys. And it's probably an eight. Oh no, it says it's a large print. So right here on the box, we have this, the New King James large print. It lays flat, which it does, and it's just right out of the box. I haven't like tried to break it in. I will come back and share it is. It is an eight and a half point font. So yeah, it was, like I've been saying, it's, it's very readable for the size of the Bible. Just because it says a large print on the box, don't think that you're going to get a really, really big, huge, large print. It's large for the size of the Bible. I know a couple of people have... Sorry. It's the joy of being outside. Everyone's outside enjoying it. Alright, so we have a red letter. Their red letter is very, very beautiful. And you can tell right here, there's black behind on the next page and it is not coming through so there's no kind of disruption distraction to where you won't be able to read and the red is a beautiful red it kind of looks more pink on the phone but I'm looking at it in real life and yeah that's not the true color the true color it is it's literally like like blood red it's a very very good red So we're going to move on through here. The red letter will go all the way to Revelation. So sometimes they only keep the red letter just when Jesus is on, on the earth. But this brings it all the way to Revelation. Love that. Alright, so we have a dictionary concordance back here in the back. As you can tell, we have the verses. They have it in red. So we have the word and the little letter that it's going to pertain to and then the verse. That's cool. I haven't seen a, a concordance like that. I like, I like how they add two different colors. It just makes it easier to read. And it's a dictionary, so you do have definitions over what you're looking up. It's hard to do this with one hand. That's why I was hoping to use my tripod, but... And then we have our maps. They're the normal Thomas Nelson maps. Alright, so that's my little, my mini mini. And then this one right here is another beautiful Bible. So this one is the Thomas Nelson. Same thing, NKJV. All of these are New King James, so this translation is not going to be different. But this one is in the single. So this is a single column reference Bible. And we're going to look at the nine point font. Here is the ISBN number. Now this one, I, oh, I thought that these were both um, two double column, but they're not, they're single. So these two are going to be single and then this smaller one and the larger one is going to be double. So I'm going to get two of each. But the reason why I'm showing you all of this is to also share the covers. So this will be the um, what is known as their leather soft. Um, if you some of them say imitation leather, that's what this these, this cover is going to represent. All right. This one right here is the genuine leather. So this is what their genuine leather is going to look like from Thomas Nelson. This one comes in a clam shell box. All right, check out the grain work on this leather. Oh, well, we got some little dusties here going on. Let me bring you down here. We do have, just like with their um, soft leather touch, we have stitching around the perimeter of the Bible. The more that you use the genuine leather, the softer it will get. It'll be, it won't be so stiff like how you get it outside of the box. It's really just literally real stiff, but it does loosen up. On the spine, we have five 
they're not raised tubs but they're tooling so they're they're not even stamped they're just literally um like tooled on there holy bible the translation and then thomas nelson's sign this is another smithsone bible and we have black matching head and tail bands with two beautiful ribbon markers we have gold gilding i will be coming back and showing you the red under gold well i have it done in these other two so i'll show you that but it just comes with the gold gilding so it's just regular gilding it's not art gilt art gilt is when there is two colors so you'll have either a gold or a silver with another color underneath it typically it's a red or a salmon or a light red something like that but okay so it is a paste down liner we have the presentation page title page copyright page table of contents Now this paper is a step up from the other one. It's like, it's softer. And for the most part, the paper is really easy to turn. It's just, it's difficult because I'm having to hold down the Bible itself and flip through the pages. So it's different with one hand. All right, so we have a single column format. And we have the outer column, well, outer margin. We have the references, your footnotes. The references will be in that red color. So you know what references you're looking up. And then as you're reading, you can see these bright red, um, A, B, C, all these, the references and the red color. Also, we have the red for the book of the Bible the headers and the chapter number so it's really really easy to follow the Bible's design I really like the Thomas Nelson this has really been the only single column format that I have enjoyed reading I'm not a fan of the single column I like the two column format but this right here, I can really, really enjoy reading. I think it's because there are less letters going across the sentences. It, it just, it makes it easier when there's not so many words and you're just having to drag it out. You have a lot of beautiful margin space. All right. So this one is their compact. This is not their personal size. All right, so this is, um, this one right here is like the, I guess you could call it the mini because it literally is a mini. It's stated as a deluxe, but it's like a mini. This is a compact, and then this one right here is a personal size. So this is a step up from the compact Bible. But these two basically have the same exact insides. All right, it is a black letter. I gave you a real close look. This one was, this one is a nine point font. We can compare it to the eight and a half. So we have the eight and a half and nine point font. Having that red in there, you guys, it really just makes, I don't know, it really makes the page pop. Having the two colors like that. And you would think having the outer margins filled up with references, there would be um, like no room. But there really is because you still can write on the outside of the margin. And in the middle, like the gutter space, there's still margin space in there. All right, so we got the concordance. It is a three column concordance in this one. Unfortunately, they did not bring the red like they did in the mini one. 
that would have been cool if they would have done that. All right. And you still get your maps. So yeah, you do have your maps too. Just trying to speed it along here. So the mini and the compact together look like this. Look at the chunky monkey. Oh my goodness. All right. The next size, this is the personal size. So this is in the Premier collection. So the last two will be goat skin. So we have the fake leather, which is the imitation leather, the genuine leather, which is, um, it's still real leather, but it's the stuff in between. So it'll be like the good leather on top. This is the underneath stuff. That's what the genuine leather is made out of. And I do have a review over this one personally and that one. So I'll link them in the description box below. But I'm just sharing these ones for like the size. Showing you the size difference. So this is like a, a bonus is what you can call this one. Get these boxes out of the way. Alright, so this is the personal size. It's still very, very um, portable. It is a chunky monkey as you can tell. And I'm also making it even thicker because I'm a cat and I enjoy doing that to my Bibles. I like growing my gardens in them. But okay, so let's put the mini and the compact on top of the personal size here. I'll back up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, this is really a big boy. But it's not really. It's still, it's still a small Bible. Like it's the size of my hand. So this is the size of my hand. They're just, they're chunky monkeys. And then this is, I've added the red. So this white and gold, that's what this Bible used to be. It used to look identical to this one. But I added the red under the gold. So I do want to show you what these two look like side by side. Because the inside of these Bibles are the same. Trying to get you it to a clear page. There we go. And then this, I do believe, is a 10 or it might be an 11 point font. Let's see if it says on the box. It says it does not. Oh, yeah, 10 and a half. So it's a 10 and a half point font. So we have a 9. And then a 10. And they're both single column formats. They both have the outer column references. And you know how I told you that typically people think with uh, references and footnotes on the outer margins, you can't really write or anything. You can. You just got to write a bit smaller. So I enjoy using regular Bibles, not really just journaling Bibles for um, my Bible gardens. I write in the center columns. So yeah, you can really still be creative with it. And it takes, oh yeah, the paper is amazing. I haven't checked out the mini one yet, but I know this paper is, it's the same paper. It's literally the same book block. It's just smaller. So I know it's gonna take up beautifully if you want to test any kind of pins or anything I highly recommend using the last page of your concordance to do that but the highlighters are you I use are from the mr. pin I use his sleek crowns love them but okay so that's these guys and I brought this big one out so we can use all of these compare them to like a regular sized Bible so your typical um, normal sized Bible typically it's what an 8 and a 7 sometimes it'll be um, like even a 9 or a 5 or not. yeah so it's just just your regular sized Bible I have so many boxes Okay, I have the ribbons tucked in on this one, but this one is the dual. Yeah, so this has two columns and it has the references 
on the inside. You guys, the paper in these Bibles, these, this is the only Bible paper that I have been able to find to um, withstand my mild liners. So it's pretty thick paper. All right, so let's put all of these Bibles together so you can see the sides. Now the bottom one does have actual hubs. I like the raised hubs on a Bible because it really protects the gold. The gold doesn't fade. It looks like a staircase. So we have the regular size, the personal size, the compact, and then the mini. But they are all pretty much, you can really take each of them, in my opinion, and put them in your purse bag really easy. They're not like so chunky like this one I take with me everywhere. It is a bit heavy because I am adding so much weight to it. But just like it, originally, if you don't blow up your Bible like this, it's yeah, you can take it everywhere. The size is just, it's so perfect. It's just, I love this size. So now I got an even smaller one. And now an even tinier one. It's a little mini. So cute. I like almost fell out of my chair when I when she sent me this. I'm like, oh, this is adorable. So yeah. I will love to hear in the comments below if you have any of these Bibles, which one, um, or if you have a couple of them, with all of them, which one do you prefer? What do you prefer using, the single column or the double column? Um, yeah, just start a conversation down below. I do love communicating with you all. As always, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.